Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out some new makeup that I have recently purchased myself. So a lot of you guys know I receive PR, I review a lot of things, but actually I am so obsessed with makeup that in between I'm like placing a lot of orders and buying a lot of makeup. And over the past few weeks, I've placed a lot of different kinds of orders. There's been some really fun new launches more recently as well that I've picked up and they all kind of arrived around the same time and so I thought that I would gather everything together and just do a full face trying the stuff that I've personally bought. I think it's kind of fun to show you guys what I choose to spend my money on and then, you know, share with you my opinions on those things as I try them out. So I'm really excited about today's video. So before we go into doing my makeup with the things that I purchased, this video is actually sponsored by ShopTagger. Guys, it was wild. Like as soon as I was sitting down to plan this video, I got a notification from ShopTagger on my phone about these shoes that I have been wanting for so long. And I think I mentioned them in a previous video like a couple of months ago. Anyway, I've been trying to snag these shoes for a very long time. They keep going out of stock. So I ordered them months ago as soon as they came back in stock or so I thought and I was so excited. And then a couple days later, I got an email from Anthropology, which is where it's from. And they were like, we're so sorry. These are actually out of stock. You're gonna be refunded. So I was like, no, today, literally a few minutes ago, I got a notification from ShopTagger about these shoes saying that the specific size and color that I wanted was back in stock and I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. So I opened it and sure enough, the shoes in my size and color that I've been wanting show that they were back in stock and they were on sale. So I really feel like this whole thing was meant to be and I ended up buying them. That's just one of the ways that I like to use ShopTagger is like I'll save items to the app either on my phone or on the desktop and it will let me know if something goes on sale or in this case with my shoe situation, it lets me know if it comes back in stock, which is really great. And other ways I like to use it is I will just kind of collect all the things I'm kind of eyeing and it's a great way to just see everything that you're looking at and you can form different lists or wish lists within the app on your phone or on desktop. It's really Really, really great that way. By the way, the app is completely free on your phone or on desktop. So what you'll wanna do is just download the app again to your phone or your desktop. And then while you're shopping, you can just go ahead and click the browser button and it will allow you to save it to ShopTagger. And this is where you can choose, you know, what exactly you want it to notify you on, or you can also choose what list you wanna save it to. It will let you know if it goes on sale. It will let you know if it comes back in stock. And there's a couple newer features that have been really, really great and really helpful that they've added more recently that I love. So if you're like, checking out on your website, you can actually click on the browser button and it will show you any coupon codes that you can use at checkout so you can save more money that way. So that's been really nice as well. And also something else that's really cool is they just launched a cash back feature with certain retailers. So again, it's all free. You can download it on your mobile device or also on your desktop. So yeah, if you guys are interested to check ShopTagger out, I will have the link to download it in the description box down below. Let's get right into all the products that I have recently purchased. I feel like there's been a lot of good things that have launched recently and I'm so excited to share them with you. The first thing I wanted to talk about is actually nail polish. I bought this, but also it was sent to me in PR. I didn't know it was gonna be sent to me in PR because sometimes Light Slacker will send like just their collections and not really their smaller collections, but they did end up sending this to me. I purchased it as well. So I wanted to give it a little shout out. This is the new little collection from Light Slacker. It's the Supernova collection and it features three different polishes. The shades are Nebula, Xenon, and Protozoa. I'm gonna open open these up for you guys so you can see. They're seriously so pretty. And I've already worn Nebula. So this is one of the products that I've already tried out. So it's a little bit, you know, of a spoiler. I really enjoy these colors, but I've already used Nebula. I just painted my nails today and I used this color right here. This is so pretty. This one's called Xenon. I wish you could see how stunning it is. I feel like these lights are just not doing it justice. I'm gonna try to use my phone flashlight so that you can see that a little bit better. Oh my goodness. it's so sparkly and so pretty, so I'm really into that. And then the last shade is called Protozoa, and this one's a little bit deeper, but has beautiful glitter reflex in it as well. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it is something that I recently purchased and I am really loving them so far. At least the two out of the three shades that I've tried. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do first. I think I might do my eyes first because I have a new eyeshadow palette to play with. And usually when I have a new eyeshadow palette, I like to do my eyes first in case there's any fallout. I guess 
before we even get into eyeshadow, I wanted to use a brow pencil that I just bought. This is from the brand Carla Beauty Cosmetics. Carla is one of the sweetest human beings I've ever met. She is such a talented makeup artist and she has her own beauty line, which is Carla Beauty Cosmetics. And so I was on there the other day and I saw that she had an eyebrow pencil. And then I also bought a sponge from her, which I'll be using, and then a little eye brush set. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try out her eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade medium brown. It looks like this, so it's an angled pencil. And I'm just gonna first use this to fill in the brows. So I'm just flipping the pencil over and kind of brushing through the pencil. I like the shade actually. I'm always a little bit nervous every time I buy an eyebrow pencil online because sometimes if I get the shade wrong, it's really a deal breaker, but I think this shade works nicely for me. My brows are looking a little wild these days. <laughs> I need to like take the time to properly groom them, but right now I'm sporting quarantine brows and it is what it is. I actually really like the shape of this. So you'll notice, hopefully if it will focus, that it's kind of got this angled pencil, but it's more of like a block shape where like the Anastasia brow definer has a little bit more of a teardrop shape. And I kind of like this because you're able to get more precise edges, which is really nice. I don't think I've ever tried a brow shape quite like this one or a brow pencil shape, I should say. Yeah, I really like that. It worked well. Okay, next we're going to dip into an an eyeshadow palette that I've been so excited about. So when Alamar Cosmetics launched this collection, I just bought the whole collection and it actually came with three eyeshadow brushes. I actually have a lot of brushes that I've recently purchased. I don't know why I bought so many at once, but I did. Um, there's also a new eyeshadow primer from Alamar Cosmetics and then this is so exciting. This is their new Spanglish eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out the eyeshadow primer, obviously. And this is called their Pero Primero Primer. I'm not good at rolling my R's. I'm really gonna try to pronounce these Spanish words correctly, but forgive me if I just am terrible at it. But this is the Longwear Sticky Pigment Base. Let me see if there's instructions on how to wear this or how to use it. It doesn't have specific instructions, so I'm assuming it's pretty self-explanatory. The packaging is really, really cute. So you have like this little cap right here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of a base color to this. Here it is right here. I'm gonna open these brushes. I have the Carla Beauty brush set. This is the eye brush set that I bought. And then again, this is the Alamar Cosmetics set. I will let you know as we go. And I know technically, you know, in a perfect world, I'm supposed to wash these brushes before I use them, but um, please forgive me. I will wash them after I use them this time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take a, a shader brush. This is the E25 brush from Carla Beauty Cosmetics. I'm gonna take the primer off the back of my hand and I'm going to use this brush to apply it all over the lid. So it looks like it does have a little bit of a tint to it, so it is going to cancel out some discoloration, but it's still a little bit sheer, so it's not gonna be like as concealing as like a concealer would be on your lid. Wow, this is feeling very tacky. I'm excited to see how it helps shadows adhere. I'm gonna go ahead and take what's left on the back of my hand and quickly apply it to the other eyelid because it seems like it's drying pretty fast, so I'm trying to work quickly with this. I accidentally got some primer and the lashes on that eye, but oh well. Moving on. All right, we're gonna open up the Spanglish Pressed Pigment Palette from Alamar Cosmetics. I am so excited to wear these. They look so pretty. Okay, so here is the palette. I guess I should show you the outside first, huh? All right, so here's the packaging of the palette. I think it's so cute. And then on the inside, look at these shades. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the shimmers specifically but the mattes look beautiful as well. So I actually have more brushes that I wanted to use as well. I recently picked this up from Laura Lee Los Angeles. They just recently launched a brush set and it was so affordable and these are so beautiful. I did use a couple of them. I actually bought two sets and I did use this one in the second set for highlighter, but we have some face brushes and also some eye brushes as well. So I wanted to use those today. And since there are some eye brushes, I just wanted to show you guys these so I can create my eye look using a couple of those as well if I need to. Okay, I think I'm gonna start off with this brush right here from Carla Beauty Cosmetics called the Big Blending E10 brush. I'm gonna dip into this pink shade right here. I think this is called, oh man, I'm already like embarrassed trying to pronounce these. I think it's I K cute. So the titles have Spanish and English words in it. So I know for sure it says cute, but I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the other two words. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the pink shade. Wow, this primer is so tacky. I've never quite experienced a primer this tacky before. 
So I'm just gonna start blending this pink color into the crease, moving back and forth and blending out toward the end of the brow. And then once there's less on the brush, I'm buffing it up toward the brow as well. Okay, same thing on this side. Yeah, this primer is so tacky. It might take me a little while to get used to, but I would imagine that this would make your eyeshadow literally adhere all day long. I'm gonna take the small blending E15 brush from Carla Beauty Cosmetics. And this is just a clean brush. I'm just gonna use that to kind of buff the edges of that pink to kind of soften things a little bit. I'm actually gonna continue with that same brush from Carla Beauty Cosmetics and I'm gonna dip into Ha Ha Ha. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to kind of start defining this outer portion of the lid. And I'm also gonna blend it into the crease a little bit too, but I want that pink to still be above it. Wow, this is a really nice brown. Wow, this blended out so nicely. Okay, which shimmer shade do I use? I definitely am leaning toward one of these two right here. I feel like I always do purple looks, so maybe I'll do this shade right here called Petal Like, and it says these little icons right here um, kind of indicate whether you should use them wet or dry. I think maybe I'll just use my finger actually to apply this. That's my favorite way to apply shimmers, and so hopefully it works. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the eyelid. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that was so intensely foiled. I wasn't ready for it, oh my gosh. I'm just taking my Laura Lee Los Angeles L19 brush to kind of buff that onto the lid. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. A little bit of that goes a long way. I definitely didn't need to dig my finger into that as much as I did. This is one of the coolest eyeshadows I've ever seen. It's so reflective, but it has the prettiest like peachy golden undertone. I actually love it. You know what? I might do like a purple lower lash line today. Don't quote me on that, but I kind of just want to try some of the purple shades too. These shimmers are so beautiful. I'm taking that pink shade one more time and just buffing a little bit higher than where the shadow currently is. I just feel like now that I have the shimmer on, I feel like I can bring this color a little bit higher than where it was. Wow, yeah, I think that looks so nice. I'm going back into the brush we used with the brown matte shade and I'm just kind of making sure that we have enough definition on the outer corner. So pretty, oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to the top lashes. I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara just on the top and then we'll move on to complexion. Okay, I really like the eye look so far. I really do think I'm gonna do a purple lower lash line. Let's move on to complexion. Now I actually have recently bought like so many foundations. In my video where I talked about like makeup that YouTubers made me buy, I had mentioned that I was waiting on a couple more foundations that YouTubers made me buy and it was Jessica Pimento video that I bought three foundations from. So these were the other two foundations. I have the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation and then the Ordinary Foundation as well. This is their coverage foundation. And then I also have another one that I recently bought, the Guerlain L'Essentiel Foundation. I had heard a couple good things about it from other YouTubers as well and I wanted to try it. So I recently picked this up too. So I'm trying to figure out which one I wanna use. I definitely can't use all three today, obviously. I don't know why I bought brushes and foundations recently I've been really into apparently. Let's just see which shade works better because I'm a little nervous about the shades that I chose. That's one thing about buying foundations online, you know, like sometimes the shade matching can be a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna put the ordinary one right here. That one's definitely a slightly dark foundation and it definitely oxidizes, oh my gosh. And it's a little bit yellow toned. I, the other one's yellow toned too. I might be out of luck today with the shade, but I'm still gonna try one of these. And then I have the EX1. This one is also a little too yellow toned for my preference, but less yellow than the ordinary. Wow, that ordinary one really oxidized. Okay, and then we'll do the Guerlain on this side here. That one definitely seems to be the best match, but I've heard it oxidizes, so maybe I'll give it a second. Wow, the ordinary one really does oxidize. That got pretty dark, and so did the Guerlain. I think I'm gonna try the Exuviance one. Even if it's not a perfect match, I think it will be fine. So we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna use the Laura Lee Los Angeles L11 brush to blend this out. I'm gonna go ahead and do a pump on the back of my hand. Again, this is the Exuviance. Why did I say Exuviance? That's not what it's called at all. It's EX1. I don't know where my brain is today. EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. I'm making things up today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply this with a brush first. 
all over the skin. I didn't do a primer because I really just wanted to see how this would apply on the skin without a primer. I feel like this is really blending out nicely. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go into my Carla Beauty blending sponge that I bought. So I already got this damp before the video and it like doubled in size. So it's a pretty good sized sponge. I'm just gonna take a little bit more foundation off the back of my hand and I'm gonna start to just press this into the skin to just continue to blend everything out. So this is the foundation that Jessica was wearing in that foundation video that made me buy it. And it looked so good on her skin. So I was really excited to try this out. Even though the undertone is a little bit yellowy on me, I do think it still works and hopefully it's able to be more balanced out once I add um, concealer and powder. But it really does look really nice on the skin. And this sponge is actually really nice as well. It's really, really soft. I feel like it did a really good job blending everything out. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of concealer. I just have this sitting here, so I'm gonna use it. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this underneath the eyes, and I'll do just a little bit down the center of the face. I'm gonna kind of speed through like blending this out because I wanna get back to trying the things that I've bought, so hopefully this video isn't too crazy long. You know what? I'm gonna use the Laura Lee L18 brush. I'm gonna use this initially to blend everything out, and then once I've kind of blended that out, I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just press everything into the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and set the face with my Zoeva powder, and I'm gonna use this with the Laura Lee L12 brush. I'm gonna focus the powder under the eyes. I'm also going to set the T-zone with this powder, and I'm gonna gently go over the powder with my sponge just to kind of smooth things out. All right, let's finish up the eye look really quickly. I'm gonna go back into the Elmar Cosmetics Spanglish palette, and I really do wanna have fun with the under eye or lower lash line, I guess. So let's try this shade right here, and I think you might pronounce this as Ponte Hyper. I really hope I'm not botching these names, you guys. I just, I don't speak Spanish. I speak more French, and I still don't speak French, but like that's the like pronunciation that I have in my head. So rolling my R's, I, I just, I have a hard time with it. But anyway, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna start to apply this along the lower lash line. This is a really fun color. And I'm taking this from outer corner all the way to about the inner corner, and I'm using the Laura Lee L16 brush for that. Then I'm gonna take this right here, Erez on Show. I'm just taking this shimmery purple shade. I'm gonna take this on the Carla Beauty E30 brush and I'm gonna take um, a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I'm gonna wet the brush because this was recommended to be used as a wet shadow. And I'm just gonna start applying this right on top of that pink shade across the entire lower lash line. Those two colors layered on top of each other are so pretty. This is such a fun, colorful palette, but I feel like it's wearable at the same time. I'm really, really loving this. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna go in with, um, let's use one of the Alamar brushes. This is the Detailed Diffuser brush. And I'm wanting to take a little bit more of the light pink shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna use this right at the bottom of the lower lash line, just to kind of like diffuse that a little bit more. So that's not a harsh line, it just kind of like diffuses into each color. And it will also help kind of tie in the top lid as well. So pretty, I love this. Okay, I think that's all I wanna do for the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Pat McGrath mascara and I'm just gonna add that to the lower lashes really quick. Okay, so the eyes are done. I recently bought this bronzer from Morphe. Well, it's actually, I bought it at Ulta, so I didn't like buy this online. I was at Ulta, I had to grab something for another video, and while I was standing at the checkout line, I saw this, and I remembered that Kathleen Lights had talked about this like forever ago. I think it's been probably over a year at this point. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer, and I bought the shade Mastermind. I haven't used it yet, but I definitely swatched it to kind of feel the formula when I first bought it and I wanted to try it today because I've been wanting to try this for a while but every time I had seen it at Ulta they were all sold out so I'm gonna go ahead and use this I'm just gonna take my uh, Laura Lee brush this is the L14 and I'm gonna start to just build this up onto the complexion I'm using pressing motions because I didn't really put too much powder on the outer portions of the face well I didn't put any powder so in order to keep it from grabbing or sticking I'm kind of pressing it into those areas first before buffing same thing over here. Okay, the thing I'm already noticing and really liking about this, it's a very sheer formula. So you really can't go overboard, which is something that I look for in bronzers because I can be pretty heavy handed, but it's just seamlessly blending out, which is so nice. 
And the color actually is working. I was afraid that it would be a little too orangey for me, but I think because it's so sheer, it allows my skin to still show through underneath. So it kind of like creates its own shade in a way. I'm just gonna use this down the neck as well to blend everything together. Okay, well, I think I really like this. I know it's not a new product by any means, but it's new to me. That was really nice. Okay, we're gonna wipe off any foundation that's on the lips. Okay, so the last thing that I recently purchased was a bunch of items from Lauren Conrad Beauty. She launched like a clean beauty line and listen, Lauren Conrad, I read her books in high school, her beauty book and her style book. I learned so many of my beauty things from those books. So when I saw that she launched a beauty line, I was like, okay, I have to try this out. So I bought a few different things. I bought some lipsticks, I bought some lip glosses, I bought a cream uh, blush, and then also a cream highlighter. I also bought an eyeliner, but I just felt like I wanted to keep this look a little bit softer, so I'm not gonna try that today. But I wanted to use the liquid highlighter and then the blush, and then I will also be using the lipstick. So I'm gonna use the Lauren Conrad Lip and Cheek Tint. This is the shade Peony. I'm pretty sure this this might be the only shade they currently have. I'm gonna see how this applies with the brush. I'm gonna take my Laura Lee L13 brush and I'm gonna dip into this color, kind of tap it onto the back of my hand so that it evenly distributes into the brush. And then I'm just gonna start to stipple this onto the skin. So it definitely has a balmy finish to it and it's a little bit more of a sheer formula. So the pigment is there, but it's not overpowering. It actually looks really nice on the cheeks. My only thing is I wonder if it's gonna dry down at all. So I usually like my cream blushes to have some sort of a matte finish so that it has longevity. I'm not sure if this one will. It kind of feels like it might not because you can use this on your lips as well. Maybe I'll try it on the lips really quick. Yeah, I definitely feel like it feels more like a lip product to me than a cheek product. Well, I don't know, it looks really pretty still, but yeah, it's just very uh, glossy, which is fine for some things. I think I normally reach for like a more matte blush for a look like this. This would probably be better for more of a no makeup makeup situation. These are just my first impressions, by the way. So yeah, we'll have to see how that wears. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the liquid highlighter now on the high points of my face. This is in the shade Pearl. This was the only shade that was available currently, but it's like a pretty sheer formula. I swatched it when it first came and it seems like it would work across a lot of different skin tones. So here it is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my finger. I almost feel like you don't need a highlight with that blush, but we'll try it out anyway. I'm just gonna press this onto the high points of the face, a little down the center of the nose and a little on the cupid's bow as well. Okay, I think that looks pretty fresh. I can't really tell over top of that um, blush though because it was so dewy. So I feel like most of the glow is probably coming from the blush. I might have to try those out um, separately later. Let's move on to lipstick. So I think this might be the best color. This is just called The Lipstick. It's also from Lauren Conrad and this is in the shade Shell, which was the most like neutral nude color. Let's go ahead and apply this to the lips. Oh, it actually matches the eyeshadow nicely. That formula feels nice, actually. Yeah, I really like that, wow. And the color's pretty. I really like how it kind of matches that color that we have in the crease. I'm gonna take the Carla Beauty pencil brush. This is the E5. I'm just gonna use this to kind of smooth out the edges on the top lip. Sometimes I like a little bit more of like a blurred lip line. I think it makes things look really natural. Okay, and now I'm gonna try out this right here. This is the lip gloss from Lauren Conrad, and this is the shade Rose Quartz. I'm actually gonna put this on the back of my hand, and maybe I'll just apply it with that same brush I was just using, and just kind of press that onto the lip. I just didn't wanna like disturb the color underneath. This gloss definitely feels like more of a balm. It's not sticky at all, which is nice. It smells good too. All right, let's step back and assess the situation. I definitely feel like I want a little more powder right here because I think I got the blush uh, just over some of my larger pores and it's emphasizing the texture. So I'm just gonna powder that a little. And then I almost feel like I like where the bronzer's at, but it's such a habit. I can't not add more bronzer when I assess the situation. So here we go. Taking more of that Morphe bronzer and just making sure that everything is nice and balanced. You you know what, I need an inner corner highlight and I have an idea for one. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna take the Laura Lee L17 brush and I'm gonna dip into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I'm gonna take the shade right here called I'm In It. This is just such a cool iridescent purple kind of a color and I felt like it would really help tie in the tones on both the top lid and the lower lash line. Yes, that looks so good. I almost wish the Elmar palette had a color like this in there. 
for the inner corner, but it's not a deal breaker. I just think it matches so well with the vibe. All right, I'm just gonna set the face. I'm using the um, Too Faced Hangover setting spray. And then once this is almost dry, as always, I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of press things down one more time. And then I'm just gonna do a quick little brow gel. All right, you guys, so this is the final makeup look using things that I just bought. Let's do a little quick recap based off of my first impressions, but I won't be doing a wear test in today's video. So I'm just gonna have to keep you guys updated as we go, but I do feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm excited about. So that's what we'll talk about. So first things first, obviously the nail polish. I love the vibe and it matches with the eye look, which is really fun. So I definitely would recommend the nail polish based off of the two colors out of the three that I've tried so far. The Carla Beauty Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil. I really like how my eyebrows look and I do really like the pencil. I like how it applied. It is a little bit more of a waxy formula, which is something that I personally don't always reach for. But if it lasts long in my brows, I don't mind it. And I felt like I was able to achieve very structured yet natural looking brows with this. So I'm gonna keep it on my desk. I'm really excited. The Alomar Cosmetics Pero Primero Primer. This is such a tacky primer. It might take me a minute to get the hang of. I almost feel like I might use this mostly for like a cut crease moment or for if I want shimmers on the lids to be a little bit more tacky. In the crease, I almost felt like it was so tacky that it was harder for me to blend, but the color payoff was really great because of it. So I think it's going to take me a little longer to work with. But again, I do feel like I would use this like as an eyelid primer situation. I think I like my other one better for the crease just for blending. I feel like that formula is a little bit easier to work with, but I will continue to use this. It was so tacky and I feel like there's gonna be situations where I need to reach for this and I definitely will in those situations. The Alomar Cosmetics Spanglish Palette, you guys, I love the look that I came up with with this. I love all the different colors that Alomar Cosmetics has in their palettes. I feel like all their palettes, I own their first two as well and they're just like so unique. The shimmers are incredible. They're just really fun to play with. They're really great approachable way to use and play with color and this is no exception. I really did enjoy this formula. I do feel like I maybe would have liked to have a lighter shimmer shade for an inner corner situation but it's not a deal breaker like I was saying. These are beautiful and I'm so excited about them. Plus you can always dip into another eyeshadow or the highlighter that you're using for inner corner. So again, not too big of a deal and I really do love the color scheme and I love the look that I created with it. So definitely thumbs up on that for me. Moving on to the foundation, the EX1, not Exuviance, who knows what I was thinking, but the EX1 Invisiware foundation, I feel like the color was a little bit yellow, but now that my makeup's done, I think it will work really well. I feel like my face looks overall very, very fresh and up close it looks very natural. So I'm excited to see how this wears. Again, I'm not gonna be able to do a wear test on this, so based off my first impressions, I love how my skin looks, but of course, a wear test makes a difference. You know, the longevity of a foundation really does matter, so I'll keep you guys posted. But I am excited enough in this that I feel like I will continue to reach for it, so eventually I'll definitely be able to tell you guys my full opinion on it, but for now, I really do think my skin looks nice and healthy, and this has got to be a contributing factor. I'm kind of going all over the place, but all of the brush sets, I feel like I was really able to use the majority of the brush sets and I really enjoyed them. The Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes, I feel like those are the ones I use the most because they have complexion and eye brushes. They were so nice. I love the packaging on them. I love the pink with the rose gold. They're really, really beautiful and really well done and I feel like I was able to find a brush for every situation. So I'm leaning toward that set as my favorite. I always use the Almar Cosmetics brushes as well and I use several of the Carla Beauty ones. So honestly, I feel like they're really, really good and maybe each set has like a different purpose and so if you're looking for new brushes and you need a lot of new brushes, the Laura Lee one might be good. If you just want a couple of new eye brushes that are unique and different, like this one. I've never quite seen one like this. This is a crease control brush from the Alomar set. So if you're looking for more unique brushes to add to your collection, I would definitely say the Alomar Cosmetics set might be a good one. And then if you're just looking for like a good complete eye set that's gonna do any sort of look, then I would recommend the Carla Beauty one. But I think they're all really great. The quality has been really great so far. So I enjoyed those. Moving on to bronzer. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. I love that subtle warmth that this gives, but again, it's subtle and I'm heavy handed with bronzer. So that's something that I typically look for. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a bronzer. It just looks like I 
am naturally sun-kissed, which I really appreciate. Plus, I really did like the larger pan in this. It comes in other shades, by the way. This is the lightest shade that they make, I believe, and I really did enjoy that. Um, let's move on to the blush and the highlighter from Lauren Conrad. These are the only two things that I'm kind of iffy on. I almost feel like I would use this more as a lip balm than an actual blush, but we're gonna have to see how it wears on another day and I'm gonna have to see how it wears as a lip product too. So I don't know, I'm not like floored about this yet and I'm not floored about the highlighter quite yet. I think my skin looks healthy though, so it's contributing to it, but I'm gonna have to try it on more of a no makeup makeup day because this is just too hard to tell when you have, you know, a little bit more of a glam makeup look on. So over maybe a tinted moisturizer with not too much powder, I feel like maybe I would have a better opinion. I'm putting these on hold right now as far as my opinions go. I'm not obsessed with it, but I didn't hate them either. And then I am actually very excited about this Lauren Conrad lipstick and gloss combo. My lips feel so healthy and I think they look so healthy. The color is really beautiful and it matched the eyeshadow palette well. So I'm really excited to continue to reach for that and the lip gloss formula feels very comfortable and very hydrating so far. So I'm excited about that as well. I think that's everything. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, the sponge. The sponge from Carla Beauty Cosmetics did a great job. I really, really liked it. It's super soft and the size of it was really great. I felt like it was precise enough to kind of get underneath the eye area and around the nose, but it's also large enough to really blend out the complexion, which was great. So I'm into this as well. So overall, I feel like it was a pretty successful makeup try-on day based off my first impressions. Obviously, I'm gonna have to see how all these things wear. The thing I'm most excited about, I would say, is probably the Spanglish palette and the lip combo. That's what I'm really, really excited about. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know these videos can tend to be a little bit longer since they're all new products that I'm trying and trying to figure out as we go. So I appreciate you for watching this video. And again, thanks to Shop Tagger for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link down below if you guys want to download their app on your phone or on your desktop, and it will help you with all of your online shopping, which is great. So be sure to check them out. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I would love to know in the comments if you guys have recently purchased any of these things and what you think about them so be sure to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you.